Hello. Once again, everybody. Alright. I had like a session of four Let's Randomly Plays in a row. An enhanced version of this game can be tried for free on the iOS devices if you want. I'm going to zoom this out a bit because the game requires a bigger screen. Hello, and let's welcome to ourselves to Shift 2. I actually do kind of, kind of fond of this game. Like, I used to play it when I was younger. You have done extremely well in reaching the final level of this game. I'm proud to present you the trophy. Yeah, this is a sequel to the game called Shift, where it's sort of like... Here, it, yeah, and the game is like cheats you. Oops, sorry about that. I forgot about. I forgot this trophy blocking hole. Please patiently while we send you to get out. Yeah, then it kills you. Haha, <laughs> now you're in for it. Didn't see that coming. Oh, um, hang tight for a moment while we fix our broken wall of death. I'm afraid of having some technical issues. Please do not attempt to escape while we call engineers. Oh, fiddlesticks, not again. Please allow, please allow falling rubble to end you. I mean, your experiment. Arr! You just gotta avoid. Warning, do not enter that door. It leads to our snake pit room. Yeah, sure you don't want to go in there. Oh, you think you're so clever, don't you? Well, you're not. I bet you don't even remember that you can press shift or down to invert landscape. No, upside down text to give you a hint this time. That's right, I'm not going to remind you that it's space to jump. And then, need I remind you that to, to open doors you need a key? Keep in mind that some keys don't open all doors. Mm, let's go over here. Please be aware that Shift 2 does not record your game progress via a timer or any other means. Yeah, this game is like really creative for... Hmm. Let's see. Okay, here we go. I don't know why I want you to. Oh right, yeah, okay. So go down here, and then go down here, and you're done. Oh no, okay. So, yeah, this guy's lying. Wait one second, is that door sideways? How on earth can you enter a door that can't be reached? You might as well just give up now. Also, don't fall down here because there's spikes. Yeah, let's keep going. Check space can be removed by possibly by collecting a light bulb icon. How is this possible? With the power of your imagination. And and is that music annoying you? So press P to turn it off. Because if I had to do that, then I'd have to go for more uh, curvy music. And <laughs> I've had enough of those for a while. All right. I do like this game though. Like I, I played the original game a lot, and I played the sequel quite a bit too. This timer is not keeping track of your progress. It's purely for medical purposes, for medicinal purposes. Hmm. May have done that wrong. Hmm. Okay. Hey, mouse cursor. Thanks, you. You must reach the door in less than 60 seconds of the tape. Take it back to the title screen.
Okay, so that was the wrong path. So, uh, hmm. I think it's here then. Fall through. Hmm. Oh, I see what I have to do. Okay. Yeah, he's probably lying anyway. Yeah, just joking. Take as long as you like. Yep, I knew it. Did I screw? No, I didn't. Okay. No, I did. Dang it. Uh, well, okay. <clears throat> Done. And now a game with the text actually doesn't tell you what to do. What? Oh, you can use down. I forgot. <laughs> Um, and I died. supposed to go from here. Mm. Oh, oh, well, I died at the end. I'm going to go for like maybe 15 minutes. Maybe. I usually do. Although the past couple of videos I've recorded in my, uh, not series, but a recording session sort of went a little long. Hmm. There we go. All right. All right, there we go. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I was supposed to Okay, here we go. Yeah. Then, one must be careful with falling down this. And this too. Alright, here we go. Next stage. Telling the truth. What does that mean? It's telling the truth. Oh, hello. Well, 
let's see what puzzle we got this time. Alright, uh... Alright. No, wait, what? Oh, I press space bar instead of shift. Well, uh, I'm just gonna use the arrow keys then. It's not that it's confusing, it's that I screw up like that. This is gonna not be disorienting at all. Alright. Notice the CPU's tensive lag occurs. Oh gosh. Is lag the whole point of this level now? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He wasn't kidding. Because my laptop sucks. Um. No. I have to jump over to that side. I'm trying to do that with the stupid locks and not slipping and sliding all over the place. And over jumping it too. That's also another issue that I kind of want to avoid doing. And... Oh, dang it. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, you have to be right side up to get through that door. Yeah, I'm not an idiot. There we go. Jugging again. That wasn't that annoying. Whoa. I feel like the. Whoa. Okay. Is the game doing that on purpose or is the actual computer just running too hard? Interesting. Flash isn't working. In mid game. Oh, well, the game's frozen, so I can't really continue, can't I? Looks like we're at the step right there. Sad face. Well, that was the end of Shift 2. Uh, it was a good puzzle-inducing game. Pu puzzle-inducing? Uh, Brain-boggling puzzle game. It's really fun. It reminds me a lot of that one game that was, like, demoed when the PS3 came out. I forgot what that game is called, but it's sort of like... It's sort of like a... Pers that game is like a perspective-type puzzle game, whereas this game is sort of like... A 2D perspective puzzle game? I guess. I, I don't know. Point is, this is fun. And, uh... Yeah. It's very, very fun. And you should play it for yourself. Play the original game first, just so you know what happens at the end of this game. I already played the original game, and I played this game not as much as the original game, but I played it quite a fair bit. So this game is fun. And I think that's done for my Let's Randomly Play session. That lasted almost an hour. But, uh, yeah. This has been Christmas Master Boys. Let's Randomly Play Shift 2. See you guys for more stuff.